So what are holes in semiconductors? And if they're just vacancies, how do they carry charge and how they're able to contribute to the electric current in semiconductor devices? The concept of holes and the whole current will be clarified to you in this video. Stay tuned and watch the video till the end for the concept of holes in semiconductors and the whole current to be crystal clear to you. Yeah, here we go. So in this video, I'll explain the concept of holes in semiconductors and whole current in semiconductors. So I'm just drawing a slab of semiconductor with magnified uh, atoms in this. Yes. As you know, each silicon atom is having four valence electrons and all the four valence electrons are bonded with its neighboring uh, four atoms with covalent bond. Okay. Here we go. So we have positive charge in the nucleus. Okay, right. So let me place the electrons. I have some electrons. So there are uh, 4 by 3, 12 atoms in this slab of semiconductor. Say for example, silicon. And uh, silicon atom is having 4 valence electrons. So all its four valence electrons are bonded with its neighboring four atoms in covalent bond. Okay, so these are the bond. So these are all electrons are bonded. So all these bonded electrons are in the valence band. So you just you have seen learned in my video the formation of energy band in semiconductors. So it is having a valence band and a conduction band, right? So there is a forbidden gap between these two conduction band and valence band so all the electrons all the energy states in the valence band are filled so actually these bonded electrons are in the valence band all the states are filled actually <clears throat> so when the material is uh, at zero degrees kelvin there are no free carriers all bonds are intact but as the temperature raises some of the bonded electrons receive some energy to break the bond and go to the conduction band like this you know in between the space uh, when they are far from its neighboring atoms the family atom it becomes free that goes to the conduction band right yeah like this so maybe this is gone free at particular moment of time And say this is also gone free and this is also gone free <clears throat> so all these electrons are called the free electrons and uh, when the electron is breaking the bond and going to the conduction band it is leaving behind a vacancy so that's called the hole okay so here there are four, one, two, three, four, five bonds are broken in this. So five free electrons, one, two, three, four, five. And there are five vacancies. So these vacancies are called the holes. So holes are actually, they are not particles, but they are hypothetical particle. Hole is considered, treated as a positively charged particle. But it is a hypothetical it does not uh, it is not a particle at all so but you know we can see that it is in the lower energy level the vacancy in the lower energy level okay now so these are called the holes in semiconductors but there is no concept of holes in metals where there is no valence band and conduction band both are merged together and uh, there are plenty of electrons available in the conduction band itself even at uh, uh, zero degrees 
temperature. So there it is that is why metals are good conductors of electricity. For conduction of electricity, there has to be uh, a free mobile charge carriers available in the material. So they are already available in uh, those metals. So that's why they are called as good conductors of electricity. But in semiconductors at 0 degrees Kelvin, no bonds are broken. So it is actually acting as an insulator, no free carriers. But as the temperature rises, some bonds are broken and their electrons are freed and they are leaving behind holes. So now let us see how the movement of holes will contribute to current. Is there any current to this? When electrons are contributing, we know that electrons will uh, contribute to the current. But what is the concept of hole current? So let us try to understand. So now this is a slab of silicon. And suppose you are connecting this through a metal on both the sides with a metal wire. to a battery this is a battery suppose you are con connecting this through metal lines then what will happen so these are metals as I said metals are having plenty of uh, free electrons available in that free electrons are available already in that so let me show you that. Yeah, so this is a metal line. Metal line is having a lot of free electrons in that. There is no concept of uh, valence band over there, energy band gap is not there. So there is no vacancy coming into picture. So only the electrons will contribute to the current in metals. There is no concept of holes. So let us, this is the slab of semiconductor. Now when you connect uh, both the ends of the semiconductor slab to a battery which is having a a storage of plenty of electrons in that. Um, what will happen? The electrons will be attracted towards a positive plate here and they will be repelled from this. Okay. Now what will happen? So when uh, at a particular temperature, say I have just freed, uh, there are you know five electrons are freed from this. So they will be attracted towards this. Say for example, this electron has gone from here to this metal it's a positive. So what, what is this? Then how many electrons are left here? Three electrons. One, two, three, four only. So but they have to be maintained you know, at a particular temperature. The number of electrons and holes have to be maintained at a particular number at the steady state. So as many electrons have to be there as many holes are there in this semiconductor at a particular temperature. So one electron has gone there. So that has to be replaced by another electron coming here. So altogether the number of electrons at any particular moment of time has to be same. Okay, so meanwhile, what is happening to these vacancies? Something else is happening. Okay, so it uh, there is a continuous generation and recombination is going on in this. So what will happen? So one bond will be broken from here again, and this won't be freed here, but it will be replacing the vacancy which was made by another uh, electron breaking the bond over there. So this has gone there. Then again, you know, meanwhile, uh, another, this will break the bond and come back and fill this. So now the hole which was there, it has come from there to here and from here to there. And again, another electron will go and fill this. Or even the free electron also fill it. Like this. So like this. and then generation recombination will be happening. So the hole has come from here to here, here to there and from here to there and from here. So then another hole uh, electron will break from here and fill this gap. So now the hole, the vacancy, hole is nothing but the vacancy for the electron to occupy that place has now come from here to this place. Why it is going in this direction? Why not in this direction? Because the electrons have to come 
and fill that gap so the moment of electrons the direction of electrons which are coming to fill the gap is in the right to left direction that is the positive plate direction so they always come from uh, negative plate to the positive plate so this is a positive plate so the electrons which are filling the gaps are towards the direction of positive plate so that's why we can visualize that the vacancies are actually the vacancy from here has moved from there to here and from here to there and there to here and here to there and there ultimately it came here so again then it will attract an electron from there to fill this okay so now it has filled this so now how many holes are there one two three four only so eventually you know at a particular temperature there has to be five uh, uh, holes and five electrons should be there so one more bond will be broken one more is bond is broken there so it is creating another uh, electron over there but how many electrons are made now one two three four five six are there but only five electrons have to be there so one electron will uh, go from here to there so that is making five electrons and five holes so the electrons are moving which are there in the conduction band conduction band means in the free lattice sites they are free to move anywhere so they are also moving and uh, to fill the holes within the valence band the vacancies are there in the valence band so they are actually uh, attracting the electrons to fill the valence the vacancies are attracting the electrons to fill that gap so where from those electrons are coming by breaking the bond again so let us see that example again one more thing so there is a hole here so this bond will be broken somewhere sometime due to the thermal excitation and that will fill find a gap over there it can go there so now hole has come from there to here so now that may be now this may break and fill that gap now the hole moved from there to here and this may break and come here and this may break and go there hole has come from there to here simply you know it's not generating any holes and the electron hole pairs but it is simultaneously it is also moving you know towards now this may uh, come from here to here so now the hole has moved from there to here here to there and like this like this big jug here from here so it will attract another electron from there to, to fill this gap this set okay so how many electrons are there now 1 2 3 4 5 holes 1 2 3 4 4 so four are there so one uh, more bond will be broken to maintain the holes so how many electrons are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 are there so that should go to this end so there has to be the number of electrons and uh, holes at any particular moment of time will be remained same in intrinsic semiconductor this intrinsic semiconductor means there is no additional doping in this so for example you take silicon okay so there is an energy level difference between the valence electrons and the freed electrons so that's the energy band gap for silicon it is uh, 1.14 electron volts okay so as the temperature increases the some of the electrons of the bond bonded electrons will attain the energy and will be breaking breaking the bands bring the bonds and go to the conduction band the freed okay so that is how the electrons are moving from here to there and uh, again you know that will supply to this this is uh, a pool of uh, electrons battery is nothing but the pool of electrons so that will be supplying you know going to this positive end like this will come so there has to be flow basically the moment of holes within the semiconductor Yes, uh, you know, visualize this. So, in the metals, there is no concept of holes over there because it is full of electrons only. There is no ba band gap. There is no forbidden gap, but there is only forbidden gap in the semiconductor slab. So, the moment of holes is confined to the semiconductor itself. The moment of holes is actually attracting the electrons to fill those gaps. So, those moment of electrons in the valence band are actually contributing to the current. which is attributed to dot of holes that's why we call that as hole current 
actually hole is an hypothetical particle it's just a vacancy so a vacancy which is moving cannot be contributing any current actually so basically that current is nothing but the movement of electrons in the valence band movement of electrons in the valence band filling the gaps which are nothing but holes so as the holes are moving from positive to the negative plate so here we can see that the hole current is less compared to the electron current why because what is meaning of the current current is rate of flow of charge carriers rate of flow of electrons so the electron current is in the conduction band that is moving from right to left so they are free to move so the movement is very free there smoothly they are moving so that means the mobility that is there is another term called the mobility they can mobile freely so they will contribute to more current and whereas for filling the gaps because they are bound to the corresponding nuclei the atoms uh, they are not very mobile in the sense that they are not attracting the electrons the that the electrons which are filling those gaps are not moving so fast as they were moving in the conduction band so that's why the current due to the movement of holes is less because they are moving with less mobility from left to right the holes are moving from left edge to the right edge so whereas when they are moving to the right edge holes they are attracting electrons uh, which are coming from this line only in the same way and filling the gaps and reaching this so basically the whole current within the semiconductor is also nothing but the electrons flow which is moving in the metals in the same direction so the whole current Uh, holes within the slab are moving from left to right but that is introducing an electron current from right to left and in the conduction band electrons are from right to left all right is it clear so this is how the holes can be explained in semiconductors there are no holes in the there is no concept of holes in metals holes will only exist in semiconductors and insulators also having the energy band gap of very high band gap so and even at the uh, high temperature no uh, electron hole pairs will be generated there so they are actually considered as uh, <coughs> insulators they won't connect any electricity no free carriers over there so only the semiconductors whose uh, energy band gap is less for germanium it is uh, 0.64 electron volts this was silicon germanium is another uh, uh, semiconductor whose energy band gap is around 0.64 electron volts okay so at uh, some some temperature some carriers are getting excited and going into the conduction band means into the lattice sites in between this so these electrons are actually bound to their nuclei they are called the valence electrons in the valence band only so valence band conduction band two bands are there so we can also understand this we can also try to understand this from the energy band diagram within the semiconductor slab so that also we can see in the next video so this way also we can understand the moment of uh, the concept of holes and uh, the concept of hole current in semiconductors hope this clarity